Well, we're ready to move into module six, which deals with changing directions or transitions, which means basically changing from any maneuver to another maneuver. But there's many, many different ways to change. One of the most traditional ones are what we call military turns, which occur either on the beat or the end of the beat. And it occurs where you turn on the opposite foot in the direction you're going. So right flank, we call those flanks, would mean if I want to go, or excuse me, left flank, if I want to go to the left, I turn on my right foot, the pivot, and take a step, and either on the beat or the end of the beat. So we're going to demonstrate a left flank, four marks four, and left flank plus one step uh, with a military turn. One, two, ready, go. And one, two, three, four, and one. Okay, good. Then go ahead and finish the roll. Complete the roll after you turn. Let's try it one more time. I should have said four march eight left flank plus one glide step. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, and glide. There you go. That's it. And so we do this. If we want to go to the right flank, we must turn on the left foot. And if we want to do it to the rear, we turn on the right foot and we turn all the way 180 degrees. No need to go through all those examples. Another type of turn is called the crossover turn. In this case, we turn on the foot in the direction we're going. And so we're going to go four march eight, and we're going to do a right flank. It can be either on the beat or the end of the beat. And we're going to pivot on the right foot with a crossover and take one step. So four march eight, right flank, on count four, plus one glide step. Here we go. With a crossover turn. One, two, ready, go. And one, two, three, four, one. There you go. Perfect. At ease. Aren't they great? They know what they're doing. <laughs> Again, most of this is unrehearsed, and they're doing a terrific job. Okay, now, that's called a crossover turn. Now, there are many other kinds of turns. One's called a drag turn or slow turn. In this case, we take four counts to turn. It could be any amount of counts, two counts, four counts, six counts, eight counts. So this time, we're going to go four march, four, and do a four count right flank and plus one glide step. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, turn, two, three, four, and step. No, no, this will, this will be the actual marking time. I didn't go back. I, I, you know, I gave him bad instruction. This is going to be a slow turn where we actually pick the feet up and mark time. Okay, so this is kind of a four count turn, uh, and uh, that was my fault, and we're not going to do it over because I'm tired. Okay, here we go. Four march four, four count right flank with the feet coming off the ground. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, turn, two, three, four, and glide. That's it. And you can do those to the left, you can do them to the right, you can do them to the rear, and you can use any amount of counts you want. Now, another variation of that is what they were doing earlier, because my instructions were confusing, is called a drag turn. In this case, we actually go to the balls of both feet, and we do a slow turn, keeping the feet on the ground for four counts. So we'll do the drag turns. You know which one that is then. Okay, plus one glide step. This is called a drag turn. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and step. Good. And a lot of these different ways of turning are good for choreography, you know, to fit the music. Like if you have a forte piano crescendo, four counts, and so forth, you know, you can use this. Now another one that's similar to the one they just demonstrated is called a snap turn, in which we freeze on count one, and we snap on the third count, and move forward and do a glide step. So this is called a, a four count snap turn. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, freeze, two, snap, two, and glide. Good, they nailed it first time. And again, these are more or less choreographic, but it, depending on the music, it's a nice way to turn. Another one that's really kind of cool is called the delay turn. In this case, let's do a left flank but instead of turning on count four, we're going to freeze on the count four and do a snap turn on count one, which delays the turn one count. So we're going to go four march four and do a, sna a snap turn, delay turn to the left. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Uh, my fault. <laughs> my fault. It's one, two, three, four, one. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Four, one. Good. Try it again. Remember, we're going to freeze on the fourth count. I did a bad job explaining it. We're going to freeze on four, 
and then we're going to snap on one. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one. There you go. That's the delayed turn. Now do that one more time and go ahead and take a full glide step on one. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one. That's it. Good. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so we have military turns, we have crossover turns, we have delay turns, we got slow turns, drag turns, and we got snap turns, and we got delay turns. All of those are, are great ways to turn. Now, another way is what's modern now is to actually plant the foot at a 45 degree angle in advance of the turn in the direction we're going. For example, we want to go to the right, we actually put the foot at a 45 degree angle to the right to make the turn easier and we're going to keep the body in the direction of turn. So we're going to go four march eight and watch the feet in which they're actually turn the foot out in the direction they're going for the turn. So we're going to go four march four and do a right flank with a foot turned in the, to the right angle and take one glide step. Here we go, brackets. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, try it again. And that's a crossover turn. So you notice how they've got that foot turned out on the, at the uh, turning point. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, good. Um, let's do one to the left, I think. And so we're going to come up here in four, and we're actually going to turn the foot this way, okay, which is a military turn, and going to the left. We're march four and do a left flank this time with a foot turn. Ready? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one. All right. Good. Now, can you kind of zoom in on their feet for this to show how what they do with their feet? Let's go slowly. One, ready? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one. You see how they turn that foot? Okay. Do that again. Okay, let's do it again. Is it a point? Are you pointing? Yeah, with a point. And we're going to point the toe this time. Ready? But it can be done flat-footed, too. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one. There it is. That's it. Okay, back up. Do you want to do one to the right? Since we're getting the feet, let's do one to the right. Same thing with pointing the toe to the right. Sure. So here's the feet on the right flank. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one. Right. That's correct. Okay, at ease. And so those are all the various kinds of ways of flank. And obviously, you're probably not going to use all of these, um, and, uh, but you need to pick one that you use universally for your basic fundamentals, and these others can be used for basically variations of styles, body movement, choreography, and so forth. But at least you know what all the ones that are out there. So that completes uh, changing directions.